Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how to back up your MacBook. This tutorial will help those who will return their computer to the Tech Center because they are graduating, leaving ASFG, or getting a new computer next year. I will show you two different ways to back up your files and describe some benefits and drawbacks to both. The first method for backing up files is to use an external hard drive. When you plug in an external hard drive for the first time, you may see this message about Time Machine. Time Machine is the built-in backup feature of a Mac operating system. It keeps a copy of all your files and remembers how your system looked on any given day so that you can revisit your Mac as it appeared in the past. If you use Time Machine on your external hard drive, you will not be able to use the drive for anything else unless you know how to partition the drive. Time Machine is not as useful when you are changing computers. Your new computer may not have the same specifications and therefore may not be able to load the image saved in Time Machine. Tenth graders receiving a new computer next year will have less memory on their new computers. Therefore, Time Machine is not a good choice for you. Instead of using Time Machine, I recommend that you copy only the files you need from your computer to the external hard drive. Click Don't Use on the Time Machine pop-up. And if your hard drive has been used with a Windows computer in the past, you may see this error message. You may need to reformat the drive. Please see the resources listed below the video to learn how to reformat or partition your drive. It is very easy to save specific files and folders to an external hard drive. I suggest that you create a new folder on the drive and give it a good name. I usually include the date and the name of the device that I'm backing up. Then you just need to drag the folders and files into your new backup folder. Make sure you check through Finder to locate all of the files you want to keep. Open Photo Booth, iMovie, and other programs. You can drag files from them into the drive. Unfinished iMovie videos must be finalized. Music, movies, and other items purchased through iTunes will stay with your account. You do not need to back them up. Media saved from another source does need to be backed up on the drive. Always remember to eject your external hard drive correctly to avoid losing data. Google Drive is the second way to back up your files. You can store a variety of files in Google Drive and you have unlimited storage with a Google Apps for Education account. Most files will be viewable in Drive, but Pages and Keynote files will have to be downloaded to be viewed. To upload your backup folder in your Google Drive, just drag your backup folder into your Google Drive and wait for it to finish uploading. It may take a long time if you are storing a lot of files, especially video and other large files. Students graduating or leaving the school will retain access to their Google accounts and might want to set a password reset number. Click on your profile and choose account. Click on sign in and security and then scroll down to account recovery options to set your recovery phone number. There are some advantages and disadvantages to both backup methods. Please choose carefully to maintain the security of your data. If you have any questions, please contact me at jenny.keys at asfg.edu.mx or stop by my office by the elementary library. I'm happy to help. Thank you for watching.